Hi, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to make a resume in LaTeX. LaTeX, LaTeX, I don't know, I'm just going to call it LaTeX. So there is a lot of different resume making websites, some of them free and some of them paid. Before finding LaTeX, I actually ended up using Google Docs. Google Docs ended up having a resume template. It wasn't the best and sometimes if you would like move a piece of it, information like a little bit over, it would cause the whole thing to like freak out and have a whole lot of formatting issues. And so while it did work, it wasn't the best option and I couldn't fit as much as I wanted in there. Since starting college, I learned to use LaTeX and while I used it for my classes, I also realized it came in pretty handy for doing things like making resumes. LaTeX is a document preparation tool. It's kind of like Word, but not really. Um, and so you can write and format things and then compile it to produce like a PDF document of whatever you want. LaTeX is primarily used in math and CS and science because it's pretty easy to write code and to format mathematical symbols and equations in LaTeX but it also has a whole host of everyday uses from writing books and articles to newspapers to today's topic, resumes. Now let's move on to getting started with LaTeX. As a beginner, the best place to get started is overleaf.com, which is an online tool that lets you write in LaTeX and compile it before downloading it as a PDF. You can use LaTeX on like an IDE or something, but Overleaf is the easiest method for sure. Um, the good thing about Overleaf is that for resumes, there are a whole lot of templates and they're all high quality and professional looking and they're used by people who are in the industry. So like in computer science, engineering, stuff like that. If you're a beginner to LaTeX, it's just as easy as starting a new template and then just replacing all the information with your own personal information. So while it does become more personalized, if you make your own LaTeX templates, I would say it's definitely not worth it because of how many professional and clean looking templates there are on Overleaf and on other sites. But if you do want that little touch of personality coming through on your resume, what you can do is once you start getting the hang of using LaTeX, you can change it up and just add different features here and there. And so let's go over a few tips on how to do that. First, you can start by using professional looking icons. And so my tip for this is using the Font Awesome package. And so they have a whole host of icons. They have way too many. I don't think I can name them all. And they're all easy to use, professional looking, and they work well in Overleaf. Second tip I have for you is to create a two column layout. So if you have a resume template that doesn't have a two column layout, one way you can do this is by using the multi call package. And with that, you can create a more like newspaper style of um, two columns. Another way is by creating a separate file. So you have your like main.tech file and you can create like a sidebar.tech file and just use like the um, CV section to add that second file in. So it kind of just creates two, it kind of combines the two files in a double column layout. Finally, you can mess around with the colors, fonts, and the sizes slash boldness, things like that, to improve the overall look and quality according to your tastes and your requirements. So if you don't like how your like resume template has like a grayish background instead of pure white, you can change that. It becomes really easy from there on out. And so after applying these tips, you'll eventually get to a point where you've completely overhauled your resume template and made it completely your own. I wish you guys all the best with figuring out how to use LaTeX and making resumes and good luck.